Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here, and we got an exciting shave for you. I had to stop watching BBS Live because I was excited about this shave. I was watching it while lathering up. This is first impressions of the Carved Bison. I'm not showing it to you yet. I kind of go through the soaps. Um, Noble Otter Jack, we're going to reuse that. I got the matching splash from TRC when they did their discount. And, uh... Real quick, we have scent notes, lemon, lime, juniper, berry, spice, mint, gin, elemi, and musk. Citrusy, what kind of, I don't need to get into it, I've done a video on it. Enjoy the scent, that's why we are using it. I will tell you, it's not like, oh, you gotta have this scent. Really nice scent, great lather. I like the card series. Um, I like Texas Hold'em, I like cards. So... I, I kind of want the full set, you know. I, I want the um, Broadway. I, I want the straight Ace to Ten, you know. Are they going to come out with a Ten? They came out with a Joker. but And Ace, King, Queen, Jack, and a Joker. Do we get a Ten? I'm just curious. All right, guys. Whipped it up nicely. We're not even going to put it on the face yet. We're going to talk about the uh, razor. Haven't loaded it. Came out of the box. Very uh, carbon friendly, biodegradable, however you want to say it. It was like a shredded paper, um, like brown paper, thicker paper, so it wasn't just like, you know, regular newspaper or something. And a nice brown box or white box in the brown box, whatever. I didn't do the unboxing. I'm not bringing it in here. It wasn't a special box. But this is it. I think the color's sexy. Um, it's got ridges on the top cap. This wasn't expensive. I will put the price point up on the bottom of the screen because I can't remember what it is. I'll do it in CAD and USD, and I will differentiate between the two. Lather channels. This is like a budget offering, supposedly. Handle appears to be hollow a good ways down. I haven't taken it off yet. Now look at this. It's kind of Henson in design. See, it looks very flat until it gets to the edges like the base plate does. And the comparison I'll use, I don't have my Henson to look, but my Design 94 is more curved, in my opinion, than this, the base plate. Even the TRC, let's make sure we're doing it right, there we go, is much more curved than this is. So I don't have my Henson, it's out on loan. Totally cool. Um, don't mind loaning razors out to people. But I am going to take out this treat that I had in my Design 94. It's going to be second use on this treat. So hopefully everything's good. If I don't like it, we'll do it again. But we're going to take it out. I'm telling you the threading on Carve is the best. And I can tell that he put like frog lube or something on the threading when he put it together and sent it off because um, there was a little bit of lube right here on the post. That's a good thing, guys. Um, top cap, look at that base plate. Look how those lather channels work. It's kind of cool. And then there's, you know, it's kind of recessed in there. This is gonna be first impressions. Um, I'll make sure I put a fresh blade in it. Next shave, I just, I don't need a fresh blade because I've got like three blades and three different razors right now. And I don't want to pull a fresh one out. But I want to see if it kind of gives that crunch like the Henson does. That will be a good tell. Got it on there. Seems pretty good. We'll see. The way I like to do it, upside down, back it out, and then make sure, you know, I just don't want to cross thread. That's how I do it. No crunch, so, but, pretty cool. It does bend it, like, right at the edge there, instead of being contouring the entire time. It's very slim. Should be able to get underneath the nose if you don't have a goatee like me. I will add a little bit of water to this lather since I've been talking and it's been sitting. There we go. I just dipped the tips. Look at that. Beautiful lather. I like Noble Otter. 
like their labels, like their splashes. The bass is nice. Their scents are pretty good for me. Some, some I don't like. I will admit, but I think everybody has scents you don't like. Um, I do know so some people feel like they're more misses for them, but I think they've also stepped up. Their scents are less polarizing than they use. I say that, and then they made batters up. But for the most part, they don't feel like they make as polarizing scents. Like, the card series hasn't been very polarizing. Um, Manoy, De Tahiti, um, Logbook, those, those aren't. But we're going to give it a go, guys. I hear, from what I've heard... Very smooth, less sufficient than the Overlander. I don't need... Well... I think there's blade feel going on there. So, a little bit of blade feel. I heard it's smooth, just less sufficient than the Overlander. When I can get the Overlander in the design I want, I will buy it. Even if I love this razor, like it's something I do want. We trimmed the goatee today. I have a holly bush outside next to the porch. It's in front of the kids' window, which makes me happy because if the kids are here, someone breaks in, they're not going to go through that window. <laughs> uh oh. There's one other window they can go in, but it's not in the kids' room. You know, you'd hate for someone to break into the kids' room and you got to shoot them dead in front of your kids, you know? Joking? Not joking. Like, <laughs> you got to protect. But, point being, I know they're not going to go through that window. Hollybush, man. Thick Hollybush. <laughs> If this is more mild than the Overlander, I'm intrigued. <laughs> um, maybe it's just more inefficient. I don't know about more mild. But B. Lou told me, oh, have you talked to Sloppy Badger? He's used it, and I hadn't. He goes, I think he said it's a smooth shaver, but it's less efficient than the Overlander. It is smooth. There's blade feel. Definite blade feel. Um... I don't normally do this, it's first impressions, but I'll go ahead and take the time and look up what blade gap and stuff is, and exposure, and try to put that up on the screen if I can find it. But, it's nice. I like it, it's very light. Um, I don't have the Henson to compare it to, but it's lighter than the TRC. I think it's right around the Henson, maybe slightly lighter. The Henson AL13. Yeah, there's blade feel to this puppy. I like it. Lather channels are rinsing well. Look at that, like, blued blade. Can y'all see it? Just so dark. Like, that would... You can't really see it. But it would be, like, all silver if I wasn't using one of these treats. I may switch out the blade next shave for sure. I will be. I don't think, if I remember correctly, feeling a little tug through here. Did I nick? And uh, I, I noticed that with these treats. Like, they're great first shave. But that second shave, not so hot. That's just me. My experience thus far. I think this is my third use of them on second use and every time. I think it's been a little rougher. I mean, I am blaming the blade for a little bit of roughness. You know what? 
I'll just change it out now. I'm doing first impressions. It's not fair to do it to this razor, do it on video, and then say, ah, it could have been a little smoother, but I think that's the blade when all I had to do was change out the freaking blade, right? Getting on to myself, being lazy. I did get a new blade bank from TRC as well. Because see, look at my one blade when I stick it in here. I gotta like shake, shake, shake to get it down there. And they had them, it was a door buster, 99 cents. I think they're like $6.99 or something normally. Use the RK. Ones that come with the Henson. But yeah. I do have some RK Chromiums Pete Hendricks sent me. I think he watched one of my videos talking about I need to get more. So I got a feeling you can pick up those blades from Pete Hendricks at his website when you go to HCNC and buy a soap. For him to have sent me quite a few packs. He must have those up for sale. There we go. We're done. Ooh, slickness when I went to stick my finger there for a little stretching. It just doesn't want to stay. Okay, it was the blade. It was the blade. <laughs> Definitely the blade. Totally different feel. That's crazy. We will go for a third pass. I'm announcing it, Lee. I need to get to comments, guys. I'm sorry. Work is crazy right now. I know this is a good time of year to be pumping out videos and stuff, but for me, it's just not my time of year. Um, I'm very busy, so to say. Just all I'm saying. Super busy at work, get off late, wore out. My uh, foot swelled up yesterday. In the middle of the night, like, hurting. <laughs> and, uh, not foot, but ankle. And I was heavier than usual that day, and I didn't take any help. I was like, I'll take the money. Sent my boss a message this morning, hey, can one of these supervisors ride with me? And they were like, hey. You want to do this like two hour run thing and then go home? I'm like, no, I want the money. I'm like, are you telling me supervisor's name? I'm just not going to call him out on video. Isn't going to be able to run with me today? I said, it's fine. Just, I still want the money and I want my route. If he can't ride with me, that's fine. Now he rode with me. Just some buffing. Right through here. Make sure we get it good. Okay. Lather's not quite hydrated. That's set too long. Guys, that's so much better. So much better. <laughs> That treat was dead, at least for my use case. So like I said, I like those Black Beauties, but they're pretty much one and done, and you won't see me buying any more of them. And the only reason I'm that way is because I'm not gonna buy a razor blade to use once. Not my thing, especially when I got wisdom that's that lasts like 20 shaves. I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. Feels pretty stellar, but you know, we'll rinse up. I'll be right back and tell you what I think. Alright, guys, we are back. Doorbuster sale, man. TRC. It's not as bougie as this one. You see, not as bougie, but still couldn't pass it up. It was like half price. Very nice. So guys, I know these feel great on the skin. That's what we use them for. But micro fibers are great for wiping your stuff clean and dry and not leaving scratches behind like cotton and other fibers do. 
It's like the number one reason to have microfiber, just so you know. Um, I, I, it's not even a personal opinion. Um, that's an objective fact. Microfiber towels like this were made originally for people to have a nicer towel to wipe their nice shave gear down um, and keep from scratching like high polished razors like Wolfman's, you know, very high end razors with very shiny finishes. <coughs> Excuse me. Jack aftershave. That was a great shave, guys. It definitely got better with the new blade. Um, so next time I'll probably put a Wizomet on. I think I did nick myself at one point when I was feeling rough. I think there's some blood somewhere because I see it on my hand. Is it right here? Maybe. But yeah. Get to give it a shake. Nice scent. But yeah, I legitimately, uh, that blade was not good. Hmm. Could have gotten a little closer right there. Well, we'll get another shave in. I want to get a straight razor shave in, but I had so much stuff sitting on the chest. I have a cedar chest um, that was my grandmother's. Uncle Davies. I don't know. I have a bunch of cedar chest, and um, one of them is from my Uncle Davy. One's from my grandmother. And uh, I put, it has like a little... Uh, velvet lined top shelf that like when you open the cedar chest the shelf kind of comes up and it's just the right length for straight razors and they all sit on the top of that and i've got a bunch of stuff sitting on that cedar chest and i just don't feel like going through it and putting that stuff where it needs to go because it's stuff i need to organize um so yeah that just sucks look for some more videos of these from me guys but uh more videos of this razor from me and uh i, I think it's going to be a nice little razor Definitely moving up. Someone told me I should probably do like, you know, top list of 2023. But the thing is, I didn't buy a lot of soaps in 2023. Um, so it's hard to make a list and it would have soaps from the past. So I don't know. May do that. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you want like a top 10 soaps list? Just curious. Um, I did just do a top 10 razors list, but cutting a lot of new razors in, but I can't give opinions on them yet, so, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we're busy anyways, I, I think I'm going to put Christmas lights on the tree Friday night before the kids get here Saturday afternoon, and we can do that as well, man, that feels good, it was a nice shave, I did nick right there, that's where it is guys, right there I nicked, oh well, I will catch you guys later. For me, subscribe, like, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.